Tonight, Ecuador entering what the president calls an internal armed conflict, ordering the military to neutralize power gangs who have been labeled as terrorist organizations by government officials. The nation plunging into mayhem this week as an armed conflict between gangs and the recently elected government led by President Daniel Novoa, who secured his presidency on the promise to fight and reduce drug-related crime, escalates. Today, Ecuadorian police lining up the 13 men they say attacked a public television station in the port city of Guayaquil who are now facing terrorism charges. For yesterday's horrific event that was broadcasted live, as Ecuadorians looked in shock as the event unfolded. For 30 minutes, the intruders are seen waving guns and explosives, forcing network staff to the floor, while noises like gunshots could be heard in the background. Although no one was killed in the television station attack, this morning the streets of Guayaquil empty as the city's fear lingers and the country remains under a state of emergency. That fear now spreading outside of Ecuador's borders. Peru declaring a state of emergency along its border with Ecuador so that the military can assist police. Our message to Americans that are in Ecuador is to please stay vigilant. White House spokesman John Kirby saying the U.S. is willing to work with Ecuador to curb violence, but ruled out military support. Ecuador has faced years of violence within its prison system, where clashes between gangs have left more than 400 people dead since 2021. On Monday, the nation's armed forces carrying out inmate control operations a day after the country's most wanted prisoner, a gang leader known as El Fito, went missing from his jail cell. Also this week, the nation experiencing several violent incidents of brutality, including explosions and more than 130 prison guards and staff being held hostage across at least five prisons. Los terroristas que están en estas cárceles. President Daniel Noboa saying the country will begin to deport foreign prisoners this week to reduce prison populations and spending. All right, Guad joins us now. And Guad, I know you have some new reporting tonight. You've been in communication with one of the journalists who was inside that station when the armed gang members entered the building. What's he telling you today? Tom, this is a journalist in Ecuador who contributes with us and our colleagues at Telemundo. In fact, a lot of the reporting that we've done at Top Story with Ecuador has had a lot of context coming from this journalist. I reached out to him to see uh, what he knew about what happened, only to find out that he was inside the station. He was able to hide. And after uh, the police entered, he tells me that he was freed. Uh, Tom, like many other journalists, he's scared. He doesn't want to speak. And this could have a consequence with him and other journalists in the country because he says right now he doesn't want to report on the violence. So we'll have to wait and see what this will do uh, when it comes to reporting on that violence internally in Ecuador. Tom? Guad Venegas for us tonight. Guad, we thank you for that new reporting. We Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.